Good morning, morning. Oh my goodness me, it's so bright. <laughs> Let the camera just adjust. How are you guys? I hope you're doing really well. What was that noise? Oh, it's Maggie. Maggie's coming. She can tell the camera's on and she's coming to say hello. I can guarantee it. There she is. <laughs> I hope you guys are really well. What's new with you? Let me know in the comments. I feel like it has been so hot for so long. Hello. Hello, little one. It's like she knows. She knows she's got to get on the camera. So we, yeah, I feel like it's just, I mean, I don't want to talk about the weather, most British thing ever, but it hasn't rained for so long. We're now on a hosepipe ban and the grass is hay at this point. It is just literally just dying. So I hope wherever you are, things are safe and you're not too hot and you can get some respite. Uh, but yeah, today we're gonna have a bit of a hangout with me day. We're gonna do some house updates and I'm so full of excitement because uh, we've been saving up and I'm gonna hopefully, if we can find it, buy some new crockery today. So these are like the little things that I've been really looking forward to. I still haven't bought the towels that you guys all suggested as to being the best place. So we need to do that as well. I haven't been there yet. Um, I wanna go to B&M because I wanna get some new jars for the kitchen. So I'm gonna do another kitchen organized with me video. And I potentially need to do my bathroom again because it's not working out for me. So there's just like things, and that's the joy of living somewhere and getting to know it and it getting to know you and that sort of thing, which is why we didn't want to do, partly why we didn't want to do loads of stuff to begin with. We have been looking for a new sofa for the lounge because the sofa that we've got doesn't fit us all on. One of us has to sit on one of the green dining room chairs and it's so uncomfortable for like when you want to just chill because it's just not big enough. So it's like the small version of this one. So we've been looking for that. Uh, let me know if you've got any furniture recommendations for sofas because I just want something so comfortable like it's our kind of chill out area and movie night area and it's yeah it's just a thing especially when it comes to the winter and you just want to snuggle in under a heated blanket because you can't afford to heat your house and you just all get warm under each other like with each other's heat yeah there's loads of stuff going on like that at the moment the interest rates have gone up to 1.75 which is a huge jump i think the biggest jump in 27 years and the fifth or sixth consecutive rise in um, interest rates each month. So yeah, pretty scary times, obviously for people that are looking to get a mortgage or that their mortgage needs to be reapplied for. Uh, loads going on, obviously the cost of living. I've got a video coming up actually, or this might be afterwards. So if you haven't seen it, go over and see it, which is loads of tips for helping heat uh, your homes this winter on a, you know affordably because it's just gonna be so difficult for millions of households, households to afford the rise in energy bills. And that was a partnership actually, but it was with Octopus Energy and they actually have absorbed all of their profits in the last year. So they haven't been making profits like we've seen in the, in the news, um, just so that they can keep the prices down for their customers. So I just really wanted to partner with someone that was like responsible and it's not even about moving over to Octopus because they're literally like, don't do that. Just like, this is just to help you with the tips. So that was a really nice partnership. So go over and watch it if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, we're gonna just do lots of sort of homey things today, updates. Um, I need to go to Dunelm, I need to go to Poundland. I need to, I want to look for a sofa. So let me show you this area here. So we still haven't kind of decided what to do with this. It just feels a little bit like not, not finished, not complete. Uh, Maggie, what are you? Um, we want to have something that's gonna sort of be somewhere for people to sit when they come to visit because we've got this, but it's almost a bit disjointed at the moment we're finding. So yeah, all the wonderful things that you kind of get to know as you're living somewhere. So I'm not obviously gonna be buying a sofa today, probably <laughs> not. I, I mean, this will only be like a, maybe a hundred pound jobby. It's not gonna be like a, a big expensive one that we need for the lounge. Uh, but let me show you my cutlery situation, my crockery. So this is the situation with the coffee mugs. We have so many different coffee mugs, none of them are matching. And I know that's not essential, but it's just one of those things that I was just so looking forward to having, like matching crockery and plates and things like that. We've got loads of different plates in here 
from different times, like three different sets and none of them are four plates because they've been broken or whatever. So that's something I'm looking to do. I don't know where the best places are for things like that. We bought a load of stuff from Sainsbury's but it's not worn very well at all. So they've all cracked or broken. Sort of if you put them in the microwave, they, they're crackly, even though they are microwave safe. He keeps doing that. It's not the vibes to it. But anyway, as you can tell, five minutes in, this is gonna be a very chatty, homey, spend the day with me, slash home house updates and shop with me video. So I hope you enjoy it. Should we do an intro now? We're five minutes in. <laughs> Grab yourself something nice to drink. I hope you are already if you haven't done that. And yeah, let's get comfy and cozy and spend the day together. This little girl has found our new addition and thinks it's her little bed. <laughs> Don't you, baby? The other day I found her in her actual litter tray using it as a bed. <laughs> like she won't sleep in a nice comfy cat bed, but she will sleep in her litter tray. Clean, I might add, obviously. She's just found our new addition, so I'll get this one set up soon and I will show you what we've gone for. No planet statue. Okay, so I showed you the table. I can't take any credit for this because Stuart has done it. And we are yet to style it, uh, but the boys have put some things on it this morning, which is quite cute. And it is actually from Amazon. So I'll link it for you. It's really inexpensive, like, in, like as tables go. And I just thought it went really well with like the kind of industrial vibe that we've got going on in the decor. So I'll show you, it's got some washing on the sofa there. This is the table. So uh, we've got a lower shelf here for, well, we've put some books here. I feel like we need to work on this, but Stu bless him. He was like, I've got a selection of different books. Well, that was a really nice one. These are like nice coffee table books. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of like down there and then speakeasy bars. So we've got that. I mean, this is just a work in progress. The children just put these down. We've got my dried gypsophilia there and some candles, these need to basically be worked out. But yeah, what do you think? It's like, sorry, got Henry's washing there. It's that sort of same style as the dining table, which we also probably need to work on because it's tiny from our old house. But, you know, we do these things in stages. It takes a long time. So yeah, that's the new table. It was just, we were finding like people would come over and we'd sit here and you'd just have to hold on to your coffee and or your drink or whatever. And it wasn't just, it kind of gives the space a bit of a focal point almost. Oh, that's my alarm going off. Oh, I've got my uncle's birthday card. I'm gonna have to snooze you because I'm not at the shops yet, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, let me know. I'll link this one in the description bar. Let me know if you got any ideas for how to style it because we'll be looking into doing that. In fact, I might, oh, I don't know if, I don't know if we'll do that in this video, but yeah. I think we, we are getting a new rug for here, which I think if we, once we do that and it's a bigger rug, it might just kind of fit in a bit better. Just not sure if you can kind of see the whole thing. But yeah, I'll link it for you in the description bar. I like it. And looking forward to having people over and we can, yeah, have a coffee around it. You guys know that I work with Curve as a long-term partner of mine. And I've just seen, I've been looking at their cash pack offers at the moment uh, because I, th uh, because uh, I wondered if Don Elm was on there. They're not actually on there, but I have seen that Costa's on there. And I just thought, I might cheat myself today, guys. I'm obsessed with Frappuccinos, like obsessed with blended milk drinks. It doesn't even need to be a Frappuccino. It could be a blended alcoholic drink. It could be a blended coffee. It could be anything. As long as there's ice in it, I use my um, blender, my Breville blender, 20 pounds on Amazon, I'll link it below. And just blend it up with ice and chef's kiss. I think it's this weather. I think it's this weather. For example, HelloFresh, you guys know we love a bit of HelloFresh here. And um, so you just go down, scroll down, and then literally press activate and um, it'll be there. So when you then use your card, it will have registered that you've got the cash back there and it will get it for you. And obviously Uber Eats is still at 31%, which is crazy. Uh, but also I just wanted to show you here, my balance here is 155 pounds, and that is what I've earned in cash back. So whenever I've shopped, so I've got Aldi on there, uh, Friday, 23 pence, 
55 pence and Sainsbury's. So I've add, I because I've got the Curve Metal, I've sort of added the places that I want as my continual cashback reward partners. And then it just adds up to my account each time. So don't forget, if you are, if you followed my channel for a while, you'll know that I talk about Curve a lot. They do loads of different benefits like travel benefits, airport lounges, insurances. So you can get your travel insurance, you get your car hire, phone insurance, airport lounge as well if you're going on holiday. Also, if you are traveling anywhere, then they've got loads of really good travel extra uh, cashbacks. So maybe you're going somewhere booking.com, you literally go on shop now and it will take you through and then it will register that as a purchase. So yeah, really helpful and I use it every single day. Loads of my friends have cards. If you did sign up with my link, I think there's still the offer where you will get the five pound free welcome gift. And then you will also potentially get another five pounds if you spend on your card sort of five in five different places. But I'll leave the terms and conditions down in the description bar for anyone that hasn't joined yet. I absolutely love it. I just use it every day. And this is one of my favorite features, all your loyalty cards in one place. So all I need to take is my phone. He's put another one up. He's put another one on there. So yesterday, uh, last video, I said I had the dropsies and you all sort of like that one. Um, is that something you say? Um, today, I've just gone to refresh my water to take it out with me and I tipped my water in the bin like an absolute fool. So what would we call that? The whoopsies. I'm just gonna see what we have got. I know, Stuart. Oh, I guess we've got some leftovers for lunch. So I'm gonna take that out now. Whoa, camera strap. I'm gonna take that out now. Uh, Stuart made last night, I actually went to my friend's house for dinner. So there's loads left, so we're gonna have that for lunch and that will definitely do probably like two more dinners. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get that out now so it's nice and ready for when I get back. Oh, also we went to my friend's mum's allotment. She's away at the moment and she was like, go and pick whatever you like. And I picked so many good veggies and like, yeah, all delicious homegrown vegetables. So I thought I'd just show you some of those. And uh, the lettuce as well. So yeah, I feel like I'm very self-sufficient with my one little bowl of veggies. I always forget to say this, so if you're new here and you're enjoying what you're watching, I'm Lara, I'd love to have you here as a subscriber to my channel. Uh, you just click the little link there, I think, which catches me out. And if you are enjoying the video and you're a current subscriber, thank you for being here and watching. I really do appreciate you. And I'd love to have you like the video if you did enjoy it, just so that more people can find it and enjoy it too, hopefully. I'll tell you why I do really want to go, and that is to Lidl, because they've got some really good plants in at the moment. So I might try Lidl and also, my phone is blowing up. So I might try Lidl and also HomeSense, because what I really want to get, which we've been trying to find, or trying to think what we need, we need some sort of, I don't, I don't know, I'll show you a little cutaway maybe of what we've got there at the moment, but what I'm not sure about is I don't really need a chest of drawers there. So then do I really want to put anything in that space, but then it's very vast and empty. We need some artwork for the wall because we've decided we're not gonna buy a TV because we just use that projector so much that it's like the perfect wall for it. So you don't, but then I want to cover up the ports where the TV can go into, so. I want to put some art there and I'm feeling like maybe a big plant, like a little sort of ladder thing, although we've got a ladder the other side of the room so we don't, I don't know. So I just want to get some inspiration. So if you've got any sort of nice furniture shops, please link them below, let me know. I'm going to try HomeSense, eBay, because we did buy loads of stuff from eBay last year for the dining room and they've got loads there. Amazon again, Dunelm. So yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna have a little shop around. I know this video is probably gonna be really long, but I hope you enjoy this sort of chatty hanging out me with me sort. But anyway, it's getting hot. It's getting hot in her. So we're gonna go. So I've just got to Dunelm. Just accosted my postman because I was just leaving the house and he was like, I got a delivery for you. So we had a delivery exchange in the in the car park. <laughs> and it's my next um my brain is mushed today. Stitch Fix, it's my next Stitch Fix box. So when I get home, I'll open that and show you. As a customer now, obviously I did work with them um, two months ago, but I've actually kept it up. This is from Stitch Fix as well, I love it. Um, but I've kept it up as a customer. So, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they've sent me this month. But anyway, let's go in to Dunelm and Lidl is here as well. And then the range is here as well. And then what I might do is drive and go to HomeSense and then B&M. So I feel like this is an all day shop with me. Uh, obviously it's, what month is it? Oh, it's August now. Things will 
probably even now be in the shops like autumn stuff which is just blows my mind really because we're in the height of summer uh but anyway yeah let's go have a look at what we can find i really love this but i feel like 45 pounds i'm gonna go to a charity shop this is cute as well i mean i feel a diy coming on for 30 pounds who would like to see that and this is so cute as well okay so this is the crockery I don't really know anymore what's what because things have gone up so much. This the one you take home because it's got marks all over it. Presumably that's why. Well, doesn't close very nicely. Presumably that's why it's reduced to 275. I wonder if you could buff that out. What do you think, guys? This is, would be for the in the dining room under the kitchen TV. Oh, hello, pretty. How much are you then? How much is this chair? It's lovely. Is this it? Flower rattan chair. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Oh, I feel disheartened, guys. I couldn't see anything in there at all. Everything is just so expensive. Like the bedside. Oh, the bedside tables were like so expensive. I can't quite believe it. So I saw a really nice one which was on sale but there was only one and then I went on the website to get another one and it was obviously just the X demo one that was that cheap because the one online was 40 pounds more so yeah the search goes on let's go to Lidl I'm gonna see if they've got any plants oh oh I think they have I think they've got the hydrangeas I want so these are 6 99 which is a really good price and this one it's got quite a few in bud still Lots of them are sort of like quite a lot over. I thought I'd just quickly show you what is in the middle of Lidl because we haven't been here for ages. Some kettles. Oh, I actually do need something like that if that can go in the oven. Some fans. How much are they? $29.99 and $34.99. Lego heads, storage box. How much are they? How much is that? Doesn't say. Does it not say? Oh, medium Lego set. No, that's that one. How much are you? Because this would be good for the boys' bedrooms to 
restore some of the many, many, as you've seen in my videos, many bits of Lego that are just all over the place. That's so annoying. No process. Some mumps. What do we think, guys? Aldi or Lidl? Lidl? Loud, or? <laughs> Aldi or Lidl? Oh, what's that? Samosa maker. Nice. Very happy to have bagged myself a 6 dollars hydrangea. That is gonna keep sh uh, flowering every year now. So I'll probably feed it because it might not have had a very good life recently if it's been just shoved outside the shop. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. 6 dollars it's gonna look beautiful uh, in the garden. So anyway, let's go to the next place. Where do we need to go now? Home Sense, have we got time for Home Sense? It's two o'clock, I've not eaten yet. Ooh, um, Let's see where the wind takes us. So I've come to B and M because I want to get that kitchen organization, the sweet, sweet kitchen organization item. Uh, so I hope they've got it in here. I haven't been to B and M for so long. Uh, I don't really ever go to B and M very much. I'm more of a home bargain sort of gal. You know, I do love a bit of home bargains. Um, but nevertheless, there'll be some good bargains in there, I'm sure. Also, I just want to share this. I bought these in Lidl. They're actually really good. They're like coated, they're almost like truffles. They're like coated in some sort of cocoa powder. I don't know. 9% of your daily calorie allowance. There was one, two, three, four, five, six in there. So that's keeping me going. Anyway, let's go and see what we can find in b and I've just made a right pig's ear of the car parking situation. Now, tell me, have you heard the words pig's ear for quite a while? I have not. I don't know what where that came into my brain, but as I was parking and I did like a bit of a, you know, like on um, that film, I can't remember what it's called now. And I was thinking, Lara, you're making a right pig's ear of this. I thought, who says that? Who even says that? But I'd look here quickly to see if there's any. Ooh, how cute. See if there's any um, organisation of the bathroom. That's really sweet. Fourteen pounds. How much is that? Eight pounds. Eight pounds. Guys, I feel like I've, I'm out of the loop. I haven't been shopping for a little while. Now I'm back. Everything's like 50% more expensive. Okay, these are quite similar to those that I saw in Dunelm. That one especially. Six pounds, I think. Oh no, oh no that's 18 pounds. The magazine holder. Maybe something like this for our bedroom. That, but maybe in a darker colour. It's a bit light. Oh, you know I love cane. And my £5 bargain cane furniture purchase. But this is £18, I just feel like. The charity shop, that would be like a pound. Some other ones here. It's quite a nice unit. I've got a nice selection in here actually, lots of different bits. Oh dear, what's happening here? All the shelves are totally empty. I feel like this is what's happening in Home Bargains a lot, but rather than keep them empty, they've like put in completely different stuff that never used to be there. Is this a supply issue? Are they just moving stuff around? It's very bizarre, like a whole aisle empty that side. Okay, so this is like the storage, kitchen storage, and what I'm looking for is similar to these, but they actually come with the labels to label them up with like tea, coffee, sugar. But what I want to know, what is the difference between this, airtight bamboo lid, and this? Exactly the same size. What? What is happening here? There's loads here for three pounds, and then there's loads here for two pound fifty. <laughs> I don't. I just don't see like any difference. Hmm. Inflation. I found a really fun aisle with like really nice things in it, um, and I was thinking like some of these things you could definitely upcycle like. You could make that into a hanging lamp because it's battery powered. Um, some of these things over here, what was I looking at? Like this, you could, oh, literally fell apart. Um, easy, like if that's not quite your taste, or 
There's loads of things on offer as well, like this here. Do you remember when coral was like all the rage in homes? That's two pounds now. There's my little haul there that I'm gonna get. But yeah, there's loads of cool things in this little bit. I feel like I missed this out entirely when I got here. Little basket. It's cute. Candles. I'm gonna try one of their candles. I've not had a candle from B&M before. we saw the one in Dunelm, I can't remember how much it was, like 30 pounds or something. I still feel if I can get a ring like this, I can make one of these. So let's see if there's anything like on sale that I can just use the ring of. Otherwise I'd have to go to maybe Hobby Craft. Well, a very, very bizarre thing happened in there. So the canisters were obviously marked up different prices and I said to the lady like can you honor the price of the others and she said basically no because the barcode dictates what the price is and I said but they like they're exactly the same anyway so I went on and uh, she just said it's new stock and old stock but anyway uh, anyway so she said uh, as a goodwill gesture basically she will honor that price that was very kind of her and then um, it went through and they went through at one pound fifty each anyway so I got all three for four pounds fifty and I'm just gonna make myself some labels with my Cricut and uh, Bob's your uncle so that should look really nice so they were four pound fifty center candle I got for two pounds I've not tried their center candles before so I thought I'd just go in with one two pound fifty uh, two pounds diffuser was four pounds I thought it'd look nice on the coffee table uh, two of those Domestos things which are usually like quite expensive they were only a pound um, and then some little command strips for putting some posters up in the office so yeah 14.99 I spent in there got quite a few little bits anyway I'm starving hungry let's go home have some of that leftover pasta and then um, yeah before I basically fade away but we got tired there's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on. I'll get over you, only wish that I knew how to go on. Baby, you and me, we're so messed up together. Fireworks thought nothing could break us, but oh, how we got burned. Look at us now, we scream, we fight, and no one knows the reason. We're both getting out of line. Mm -mm. Now say goodbye and try to move on. I'll get over you, only wish that I knew how to go on. Just you just come back, he's done an Audi shop. How much was it? 113. 113. But we did have, I'm going to put you on the tap. A bit dodgy. Um, we did have four or five bottles of wine, which was about 30 pounds. So the food was about 80 pounds, basically. But we were just saying how much, obviously, everything's gone up. I won't show you an Aldi haul in this video. Maybe if you want me to a, a new one, let me know, like an up-to-date one. But yeah, where are you guys shopping at the moment? It's just so expensive at the moment, like, even just in B&M, on Elm. Just couldn't believe the price of this. We were so messed up together Even if we tried we'd be stuck here forever I don't understand right now how to make it through But I'll get over you And it's not like I'm gonna hate you It's what it is, nothing left that we could do Even though it hurts right now We will make it through I'll get over you Ooh. I've probably got pastel around my mouth I just said to Stuart, I don't know if I was really hungry or if that was really good 
I'll show you the recipe card if you want to recreate it. Right at the bottom. So layered creamy pasta and chicken bake. If you want to screenshot the ingredients and the method. <laughs> it was really good. I'll leave my code as well if you want to get a free box. It's, I think, like four people can get a free box. So if you want to do that, I'll leave my link for you below. Have worked with them, not an ad. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, but yeah, right, I'm going to go and open up my box of Stitch Fix now. Let's go and see what they've sent me this month. Also, just because I was opening these on the little uh, silky montage. <laughs> isn't at all uh i thought i'd just share that this is um some amazon stuff i bought so i'm trying out some amazon clothes to see what the quality is like to share with you because the prices are actually quite affordable so keep an eye out for that video coming soon so i bought these for in here because the ones i've used are really old ones so i'm going to pull that off and then we have to stick this up properly Try to say goodbye You know we had our problems So now we have to try to move on Let's have a look What do I have packed? Like. Oh, shoes Not bad Ooh. <gasps> I love that Oh, that is so nice. I didn't know they did, this is a really nice stationary brand. I did not know that they did bags. I do love that. Mm, thank you. Choose any that. I'm just gonna whiz through these because um, it's obviously, you know, not an ad or anything. Uh, what is that? It was a slip dress. Oh, I just love like, oh, I love this so much. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Where's that from? Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, it's whistles. It's going to be expensive. Oh, is this joggers? Oh, joggers. Sugar Hill. Oh, is that the Sugar Hill Boutique? Yeah, in Brighton. Oh, lovely, lovely. Should you sneak peek this? This I love. Uh, and then the trousers are cool, just for like hanging around. I did say I wanted some sort of autumnal pieces. I know it's August, but I feel like it's just going to be here before we know it. And I'm always on the hunt for like the perfect jumper. And I don't know if did I just find it? <laughs> did they find it for me? But yeah, if you want to try it, you get a free twenty-five pound credit to start you off. I think, and it's a free service. You pay ten pounds for the styling fee, and then they take that off if you buy anything, basically. So yeah, it's pretty much free if you're going to buy something. Abby, I'll leave your link below. Wow, they absolutely smashed it. Like every single item I love. So that's very successful. So yeah, if you are sort of in a bit of a style rut or you just need a bit of like sort of confidence what you might want to wear or even just some new ideas or anything like that, it's a really good idea. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk about it anymore because obviously it's not an ad. Uh, but yeah, I think, I don't know, this video is probably really, really long now. So I'm wondering whether just to kind of leave it here. Obviously I'll leave all the links in the description bar for you. Um, the kitchen organized with me will come soon and I will do the labels for those canvases and show you how they look in that video. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and being here. Really hope you've enjoyed being with me today, shopping all day and buying some things. I feel like I wasn't very successful in the buying of things apart from the 14 99 in B&M and the 6 99 plant in Lidl, which I'm very pleased about. But I think that's always the way, isn't it? When you're kind of like poised, ready to spend if you've saved up or you've got like the money there to do it, you can never find what you're looking for. But anyway, yes, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and being with me all day. And I will see you so soon. Take care. Bye.